Hello, folks. Well, you know, I really love my XK450 Aviator, and I just had to fly it again to try out my 3D switch mod and see how it works. Wow, that's smooth. One thing I can tell you that although it's nice to have a golf course to fly behind my house on, the trees on the right are always on my mind. Also, when the Aviator is in the airplane mode and 6G, I find out it makes very big wide turns, so you need lots of room. But in 3D mode, it makes radical tight turns. So watch this. All right, I'm gonna switch it to airplane mode. Airplane mode is this. <laughs> this thing cranks. Uh oh. Hit the tree. Well. Okay, that. well, that was no fault of the uh, plane for sure. It was the fault of the tree. <laughs> it just jumped up and got me. Okay, now to try to fix it before the sun goes down. First of all, the motor mount has plastic shafts on both sides that fit in the hole on the left side and is connected to the control horn on the right side, and they both broke off. The right side had a big hole where the control horn was connected, so I had to figure out how to make that work. I glued a control horn on with Satellite City's Industrial Super Glue, Super T, that's a thick stuff, to make the bearing. Then I drilled a small hole in both sides of the motor mount where the plastic shafts were sticking out that were broken off. Then I glued a screw with the CA to the proper size control horn so it cannot move. It was a nice little fit. Then I screwed it in through the bearing hole and into the motor mount with a drop of CA glue right on the tip. I screwed it in just far enough to have space to move and the control horn to be close to the other left motor. On the left side, I found that the same servo mounting screw fit in that shaft hole just fine, so I screwed it into where I drilled a hole, put a drop of CA on it, and it's really strong and makes a great bearing. It's all solid as can be now, and I'm going to take it out where there's more room and try it again. By the way, you can buy all the parts to fix this properly from linparts.com. I didn't want to wait, you know. I like to try to figure out ways to fix things, as most of you know. So here we go. Okay, folks. This is the last flight of 2019. The last flight of the decade. Uh, this is after the repair that I just did here. After, you know, hitting that uh, tree. So uh, let's go ahead and see how it goes. I am going to... Uh, also use this switch that I moved over and we're going to see how this does so that blocks it then both sticks to the left corner this sets the gyros it stopped blinking okay we should uh, let's see if it uh, goes I'll probably have to trim it here That looks good. All right, I'm gonna put it in that vertical mode and see what happens, so. Let's flip the switch. <laughs> and back forward, into forward flight. This is the 6G mode, need wide room. Gonna put it in, push the button. Now I'm in 3D mode.
<laughs> That's pretty wild. Got to watch those trees though. All right, back to uh, hover mode. See what it does when I bring it down. This is just the uh, Is it trimmed? Yeah, that's pretty trimmed. All right, I gotta throw it into the vertical mode again. Throw the switch, here we go. <laughs> All right, airplane mode. Put it in the uh, multi-rotor mode. And there it is. I just got to do it again one more time. Here we go. When that wind catches it though, you gotta you gotta come back to you in a knife edge. Just like the expert. Alright, into uh I mean really. That's just slick. That is just really slick. All right, let's set her down. <laughs> Man. That is just so cool. <laughs> okay guys, Happy New Year.